The Japanese beetle response team, effectively, it's a, it's a pest that found its way in the Lower Mainland, and it's a coordinated effort to try to eradicate that pest. So what happens with the Japanese beetle, it comes in through the soil. So it exists as, as a larva in the soil. When they come out, they start feeding on almost everything. It's a type of thing that once it takes root, it's impossibly hard to get rid of. One of the most significant things out of this was that in March 2018, all the parties got together with a call to action and the Ministry of Agriculture decided to jump into that for the first time ever and lead a new partnership that wasn't the classic federal command and control response. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency's role in this initiative was to provide the regulatory tools to allow for treatment of public lands in the city of Vancouver, as well as to provide expertise in communications as well as the science side of things. Well, the, the city of Vancouver was tasked with trying to control the Japanese beetle through an order through the, uh, through the federal government. So between the park board and the city working together uh, with provincial and federal and private people, we had to figure out a way to control it. I mean, of course, the steps we took was first getting the information uh, about the beetle. How many, where were they, what's the plan? What, what was being applied was the key was that it was safe for humans, safe for dogs, safe for butterflies. So this product, is a larvicide that only affects the larva of the beetle. Kids could go in the park a few hours after, they could walk their dog, and it had no effect on that. That was the key for us. We don't normally work on, on response activities uh, so coordinated with other departments. In this particular situation, we did have to uh, form a steering committee very quickly uh, that would oversee and make decisions throughout the year about what was necessary in order to ensure a successful eradication. Well, I've been here a long time and I don't remember ever doing this kind of collaboration with the federal government, provincial government and private sector working with the city. You know, once we received the order and understood the magnitude and the potential effect of the Japanese beetle, uh, I think everybody got on board. And once we understood the scope, Vancouver, we can grow things that many other places can never grow. We have over 500,000 street trees and park trees combined. Not, that's just trees. And we have perennial plants around the entire city. This could get wiped out um, if these beetles were to get out of control. So I think for us, the partnership was exciting because we're making a difference. It takes patience to learn if you've actually eradicated a, a pest. And so the first thing that was a success was we got the partnership in place. We had a call to action of the partnership in March and we were beginning treatment that May. To get that rolling in a coordinated way uh, on city properties and private properties and industry partnerships was a big deal. We're seeing fewer bugs in a more contained area, which is a great result and it makes the long-term success seem possible.